It's a first for the port city. A contract for U.S. Air Force refueling tankers to be assembled in Mobile. It's something local and state leaders have been trying to make happen for more than a decade. WKRG News 5's Megan Mackey has details of the announcement and what needs to happen before the plan becomes reality. Political figures from all over the state came together at Flightworks to announce refueling tankers will soon start being built at Mobile's Airbus facility. If it's needed by our servicemen and women, Alabama is the place to build it. The company behind it all is Lockheed Martin. The aircraft is a variant of the Airbus 330 and will be used by the military to refuel their tankers. The plan right now is to make about 150. I think that there are a lot of mayors that would give anything to this be happening in this city and I feel that way. What a huge compliment to our workforce and to Team Mobile and Team Alabama to have this uh, here today. There's always been that lingering hope that maybe one day we would be able to build a tanker. And I think that uh, it's teed up for, for the future for that to be able to happen. The plan is to assemble the aircrafts here in Mobile before flying them to Georgia, where they will install the refueling equipment. We're going to start doing work, and we are hiring employees now in terms of preparing for the future. But ultimately, we have to win the contract, build the fouls, and the like to deliver the airplanes. The final contract is still being reviewed, but once it's approved, new tankers could begin rolling off the production line as early as 2029. This announcement comes more than a decade after a European company hoping to build tankers right here in the port city lost a $35 billion contract to Boeing. Look at where we are. Look at the fouls we have. Look at the delivery of airplanes. Look at the number of employees. So this isn't about what we're going to do anymore. This is about what we have done. We believe we will have the best tanker in the world. Reporting in Mobile, Megan Mackey, WKRG News 5.